Hi, I'm Dr. Lauren, and this is your guide to zombies. Zombie, you ask? Well, a zombie is a member of the living dead, specifically a creature that has an insatiable hunger for human flesh and human brains. Okay. Guide to Zombies, this documentary, we will show you how to deal with zombies. For instance, what they like to eat, where they like to live, um, even how to survive a zombie attack. I am also going to show you why you should not be afraid of zombies. In recent years, mass hysteria has grown due to media. But here, I have a real live zombie. He's a pet zombie. Now, pet zombies are very useful because they protect against intruders. And and they can't die. We patched him up as best we could, uh, see the scar, uh, he has some lesions that, as you can see, we tried to cover up with makeup, nothing would really match his complexion, so, so we used blue, um, he was- Paul, how, how would you defeat a zombie? Uh, see, I've got a theory about zombies, I think they might just need a little attention. Uh, you know, need a little... I, I probably would sing, sing to them. Just, like, really, like, bellow out. Some Tom Jones or something. I think at the end of Mars Attacks, they drove around with Mars Jones, with Tom Jones playing, and, and, uh, that, that worked. I think I would do something like, you know, it's not unusual to be loved by anyone, you know. I think the zombies would like that. They'd probably... Or they would maul you. I've always heard that the best way to kill a zombie was to rip its heart out. So I'd just be standing there next to it, and I'd just be like, WHOOBAM! And then I'd pull its heart right out of its chest, and sit there with it beating in my hand, and then I'd eat it. And then I'd go through the hole that was in its chest, and I'd fish out the rest of its organs and have them in my hand also beating because all organs usually beat and then I'd eat those two. Thank you, Clyde. So, um, we're interviewing people to yeah. find out, uh, how would you kill a zombie? How would I kill a zombie? Well, there's one mistake a lot of people make when, you know, zombie hunting, and that's they grab for kitchen knives and baseball bats, which is the least effective weapon, because it's too small to cut anything off a zombie, and zombies don't move when they get stabbed. So you really want to go for a blue... Well, I don't even... I don't know, but blowtorches. Fire. Fire everywhere. I don't even, I don't know, but blowtorches. Fire. Fire everywhere. Um, actually, I'm a zombieologist myself, and uh, I was out in the field one day um, with my friend studying some zombies out in the distance. And uh, they're, cre they're sneaky little creatures, you know, they, they uh, run up from behind. You don't even know they're there. So, uh... Hang this on. Sorry, it says change the battery pack. Uh, just just go really fast. Just go really fast. Okay. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm actually a zombieologist myself, and uh, I was out in the field one day with my friend, and uh, we were studying some zombies out in the distance, and um, they're sneaky little creatures. I mean, you don't, they can sneak up from behind you, and you won't even know they're there, and this is what happened to us. They just snuck up from behind us, just mauled my friend, and, um, I, but luckily, he, he got away, and he ran and ran, and I ran after him, and I saw all these zombies just coming around, and I knew there wasn't any way I was going to survive this just by running, so I decided to trip my friend and ran as fast as I could, and all the zombies ate my friend. So um, I guess my advice to you would be um, trip and run. You know a lot about zombies, right, Colin? I, you know, I'd say I know a fair amount about zombies, yeah, yeah. I so, studied it in school. So, how, how would you kill one? Well, I'm, I mean, my favorite method is hot glue guns. Um, 
you know, most people, they go, they go right for the axe, and they think, well, I'm just going to cut the zombie in half or cut the head off, and that'll be it. But the trouble with the undead is they're undead, and you can't kill them. So, you know, sometimes you screw up, and you, you cut off an arm, and the hand's still attached, and you throw the rest of the zombie out, and then, you know, the next day, or maybe a couple hours later, you're sitting down eating some popcorn, and suddenly over the back of the couch, oh, the undead hand comes right for you. And uh, it's just not, it's not effective, yeah. you know? So, but with hot glue, you know, you don't really kill them, but you disable them. You glue the arms to the side, and the legs together, and the feet together, and the thumbs together. And then, you know, really, I see it as cheap furniture. How, how would you get them to stand still and how, and, and in the event of a zombie attack, usually there, there isn't a lot of warning. Um, how, how would you have the, you know, glue gun heat up? Would you just have it plugged in all the time, just well, in case? Or? No, I, you know, I feel like basic cable, if you just turn that on, it's so boring that the zombies sort of freeze staring at it, waiting for something good to come on. Um, and sometimes if you have a particularly aggressive zombie, you just give them the remote. And those suckers will spend like three hours just clicking through each channel, thinking, you know, there's going to be something better on the next channel. Yeah. But they never find anything, so you're pretty much safe. Yeah. And the other ones will sit down and, and sort of grumble about, you know, pass the remote dude, but it's fine. You know, you have all the time you want. Yeah. 